Okay, so after yesterday's firmware update for the DJI Ronin SC, one pretty cool inclusion that they had on the firmware I just wanted to show you before I start the Nikon Z6 setup is if you have barrel roll setup minus under uh, mode 3, so I'm switching the barrel roll. So one pretty cool inclusion is that if you now, if you turn this, you'll see the barrel roll happening. If you let it go, it will stop. But the inclusion is if you double slide the joystick, twice you will see that the barrel roll becomes infinite automatically it will spin on its own so I think that was a very very good inclusion there by DJI so yep well that's all I wanted to share so let's get straight to the video So I finally managed to get my hands on the Nikon Z6. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to mount your Nikon Z6 on your DJI Ronin SC. The lens on the Nikon Z6 is the Z-mount 35mm f1.8 lens. So I'm not using the 24-70 kit lens. So it will be much lighter and easier to mount this lens on this DJI Ronin SC. So let's get straight to the video. Okay, so let's take a look at what items I needed to mount your Nikon Z6 on your DJI Ronin SC. So firstly, we have the tripod. Next up, we have the USB to USB cable. So make sure these are the same words. This is found in the box. It says USB-C to camera. The Nikon Z6 does have a USB Type-C port, so you don't even need the micro USB adapter. Next is you will need your quick adjustment plate and one screw. Because this lens that I'm using, the 35mm f1.8 lens, is not really very large in diameter. But if you are using the kit lens, the 24-70 or a larger lens, you may be required to use the camera riser, the quick adjustment plate, and two screws instead of one. But for this lens, we're just going to use one screw, the quick adjustment plate, and no camera riser. So next up, we have the lens support. There are two sides to the lens support. You can see this is the larger side, so take note of that. And the lens support screw. And of course, your gimbal, the DJI Ronin SC, and get a coin or a screwdriver. You will be needing this to screw in these screws. All right, so let's get to the mounting. Okay, so first get your gimbal. Attach the tripod to the bottom, the smaller screw the smaller hole I mean, so attach that to the bottom. Next up, get your camera, remove the lens cap, and set up everything on the camera that you require before mounting it on the DJI Ronin SC. So if you want to put a shotgun mic, if you want to maybe a small shotgun mic or a wireless Lavalier transmitter on the horseshoe mount, get that done. If you want to put an ND filter on the front, do that right now before we start the setup. First of all, get your quick adjustment plate. You can see the label, it says lens, so this wording with the lens will be following the direction of the lens, so you can see that. Get your metal screw. On the quick adjustment plate, you can see that this part here is bigger than the rest of it, so screw that in to the top. Make sure when you screw it in, the screw thread comes out on top. Don't screw it in the other way around. Make sure that the screw, the threads come out on the top of the plate. Once that screw is in, screw it into the bottom here. Just use your fingers. You can see that I've tried to flush this plate. Make sure that it's flush with the bottom here. That would be just nice. You can see that the, the quick adjustment plate also extends out to most of the lens. So that should be a good balance like that. Make sure that it's flushed as well. Make sure that it's straight. Once that's straight, use the coin or your screwdriver and tighten it. Hold the plate down, tighten it, make sure that it's flush and make sure that the screw is really, really tight. Next up, get your lens support on the larger side. Put it at the bottom. You can see a screw, the hole over here. So with the larger side facing outwards, place it underneath. 
if your fingers can reach use your middle finger and your thumb to hold both sides of the lens support in order to make it flushed with the bottom of the lens take your screw and then screw it in the bottom make sure that it's flush make sure that it's tight and it should look like that so here's what it looks like from the bottom so next up it's time to mount this camera the Nikon Z6 onto your DJI Ronin SC unlock the three axes one here this is the joystick so for easy reference the joystick will always be facing myself with the joystick facing myself there is one axis here to unlock one up here and lastly if you flip it around there will be one more axis okay so open it up in this direction again with the joystick facing myself the pan axis should be facing you then you can lock that in place again the three locks just look for the lock the first one is above the joystick second one on top and the third one is on the left hand side so this is the joystick the third axis is here one two and three okay so once once that's locked it'll be easier for you to mount the um, nikon z6 so again with the joystick facing yourself grab your Nikon Z6 and slide it in like that just slide it in there should be a marker here you can unlock the marker for the time being let it slide so that you can easily move your quick adjustment plate backwards and forward until you get a correct balance in order to balance the tilt axis first we need to unlock this axis over here the pen axis and also the tilt axis so unlock two of the axis okay so right now we're gonna balance the tilt we need to adjust the quick adjustment plate backwards or forwards and until it manages to balance a stand on its own so just slide it back and forth like that so you don't touch it and it still balances that means it is pretty much balanced correctly so get your marker on the other side and just mark that location tighten the marker so once you tighten the marker you got that fixed so that's pretty cool now you need to, to do the left to right balance so the tilt axis we got that done for mine it's pretty much already balanced left to right but for yours if let's say if it's tilting too much to the left or too much to the right for example like this loosen the bottom screw and you can actually push it push the quick adjustment plate if it's too much to the right you just push it to the left until it's balanced yeah like that so see so you can see that it's slightly tilting to the left so push it to the right it's too much push it back a bit so once that's done tighten the screw at the bottom all right so we got that axis fixed and right now we're gonna move on to this part so you got this side balance if you don't touch it it should stay on its own like that next up you gotta tilt it upwards and it should stay like that as well if it doesn't the screw to, to loosen is over here loosen that and adjust it forwards or backwards until it's balanced so if it's too front heavy it will fall fall forward if it's too back heavy it will fall backwards like that so just adjust it until it stays without you touching it and that's done tighten the screw so pretty fast two axes done you may need to make some adjustments for example right now it's too back heavy so we're gonna adjust the screw at the bottom here again okay so we got the tilt and the pan axis done now we're going to move on to the roll axis which is at the bottom here the screw for the roll axis is on the left hand side this is the joystick this is the 
screw for the roll axis. Just make sure that all, in order to balance the roll axis, make sure that all the axes are unlocked. This will be a little bit tricky for some cameras, but you can just do your best. Um, you're gonna point it upwards first. You already got that tilt axis done. But then what you're gonna do is try to push it 45 degrees to the left or to the right. And as long as, for some cameras, you, it will stay at 45 degrees. For the Z6 and uh, so far the A7 III, it's really difficult to get it to stay. So what you can do is loosen the screw. Loosen the screw and then you need to shift it uh, back uh, forwards or backwards. Look for when you shift it 45 degrees to get a just a rough estimate. Let's say I start off at point number one, it's labeled there number one. Point it there. Let's see, and then I move on to 1.5. So for some cameras, no matter what marking you use, it will still bounce back. So the best way to get a good gauge like what I did is I just tried out a few different markings and the one that when it rotates back is the slowest speed. If it's too fast, then it's definitely off. Like that, it's a bit off. So the one with the slowest speed, just take that marking for now. See, like this, it rotates back, back at a much slower speed. Yep, like that. So if it rotates back too quickly, then that pan axis is definitely off. So I just did some tests, like slightly around there, and this works for me. So I just lock it in for the time being. And then just if you want to be sure whether or not this marking right that you set is correct, you can always go into your Ronin SC app power on your gimbal to connect to your Ronin app if you want to see whether your rule axis is correct you can just go to balance test and you can just begin a test and it will tell you whether or not all the axes that you have just balanced are correct okay so for me for this setup my marking is at 1.5 seven so i marked it at 1.7 and i begin the test and all three axes were labeled as excellent so if you want to try out the test you gotta tilt your device more than 15 degrees and just begin the test on the app and you will see that it will auto rotate so for me you can see The yaw, roll, and pitch all are excellent. So just to let you know, for certain cameras, for the roll axis, will bounce back. So you need to do a little bit trial and error. Yep, so basically all done. Last of all, you need to plug in the cable, power off the device. So for the Nikon Z6, the USB Type-C cable is on the left side make sure when you plug in the straight side goes into the camera you can see the straight side here this goes into the camera and the bend side the angle side of the USB-C goes into this location just flip it upwards and plug it in and that should be it so Right now with this cable, your Ronin SC can communicate with the Z6 because the Z6 is on the camera compatibility list. So that's pretty cool. So let's try out some stuff. Okay, so if you're watching this video today, there is a new firmware update 1.1 on the DJI Ronin app. So once you connect your camera and open up the DJI, uh, the DJI Ronin app, it will prompt you new firmware update available so just update that and if you want to also get a, a better balancing you can always go into motor parameters and just hit that auto tune button at the top at the bottom the auto tune button and just need to make sure that all the axes are unlocked before doing the auto tune so once you confirm all the axes are unlocked just hit ok and it will start auto tuning auto tuning you can see it vibrating 
So once auto tuning is done, that should be a really good setup on your Nikon Z6 on the DJI Run and SC. So now you can just go into the app and start playing around with any of the features. If you are using an iPhone XS, you will have more options available. My iPhone XS is charging right now, so I'm using my Note 10. So you can just try out any of the options available and basically that's it. So in order to test out whether or not your camera and your gimbal, the Nikon Z6 and your gimbal are communicating, uh, you can actually just press the button, the record button. I'm using automatic mode right now. Um, you can see this over here. So make sure that is shift to video mode. So this is, you can select camera mode over there, but I want to switch this to video mode and that should be it. So once you hit the record button, I'm gonna press the record button here. You will see it start recording. And there you have it. It starts recording. And if you hit that, that will stop recording yep so it stops recording so once the start stop record button works you'll know that it is probably set up so basically that's it pretty easy um, if you are using the 24 to 70 lens and it's really big i will leave a link in the description where i did some balancing on pretty heavy setups whereby i did a hack on the quick adjustment plate so i'll leave the link if you are using a big lens setup and if this doesn't work for you you can check out the other video how to set up heavy and big cameras on the dji on the sc so basically that's all guys thanks for watching hit the subscribe button the like button and the notifications button i will be coming up with more videos soon so i'll see you in the next one peace